quick look out there at DHR Edinburgh. Still seeing those clouds kind of hanging low to the sky like they want to bring us some rain. We already had some earlier. We could see some more going through this afternoon. But a lot of us could actually end up staying dry as we go throughout the rest of today. Now, we are in that general thunderstorms category according to the Storm Prediction Center. Remember, a general thunderstorm isn't even on the official 1 to 5 scale. This is just your typical quick flash lightning, rumble of thunder, and that's pretty much it. So we're not even expecting to see any strong storms, just a couple heavy downpours, and like I said, maybe some sprinkles and rain this afternoon. Going into the overnight hours, it looks like the chance for rain is actually reduced by the time we get to around sunset all the way through the night. Notice, so like I said, a couple little sprinkles popping up here and there throughout the early morning hours, but I don't even know if we're going to see a thunderstorm like we did earlier this morning. And Tuesday afternoon could see a little bit more of uh, some rain and maybe some downpours as well. So we're just looking at the chance for continued rain today and into tomorrow, albeit kind of on and off and sporadic. So today we are going to be in the low 80s, 80 if you're out by the coast, and of course in the upper valley, just closer to the mid 80s mark. Winds are going to be from the east around 5 to 15 miles per hour. And as you saw from the DHR Edinburgh camera, we are seeing the sun out behind the clouds. And earlier we showed you all the, the Beach Park camera as well. It looks great out there. Be careful, though, because we do have that high rip current risk. And the chance for showers and storms does continue for today. So if you have outdoor plans, if you're going to be out at the island, just make sure you're being especially careful out there. Don't want to be caught out there, you know, when you get any thunder or lightning. That's the danger. Now, I keep telling you all we got the chance for rain for the next couple of days, and here it is. This is on your Tuesday afternoon after that cold front looks like it stalls to our north. Then we get to Wednesday early morning, and we see kind of a similar story where we got the chance for rain on and off all day. Maybe a thunderstorm, maybe a downpour. That's about it. Finally, we get to Thursday. Notice we got maybe some rain off the coast, but we're finally staying dry. So we just got to make it through Tuesday and Wednesday to Thursday, and we'll be good. Between now and Wednesday, the Weather Prediction Center does still have us getting anywhere between a quarter of an inch to one and a half inches, depending on where you stand. This is just an estimate. We could see a little bit more, a little bit less, but we're going to get this on top of the rain we already have. So just remember to drive careful. Could see some buildup of water out there. Now, quick tropics update because believe it or not, today the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, so on the other side of the United States, begins today, May 15th. Now, this doesn't affect us uh, greatly. Sometimes we get some rain or some clouds left over from these systems, but for us, our Atlantic hurricane season, we're only 17 days away from June 1st. So that's what we're all going to be keeping track of as we go throughout the next few days. Uh, don't forget to download the Valley Storm Team app, get a look at current weather radar and alerts for your area, hour by hour forecast, all that fun stuff. It's helpful when we have the severe weather and even just tracking these showers and storms that we got for the next few days so you can attempt to stay out of the rain. And of course, it's going to be helpful as we're nearing the beginning of hurricane season. I mean, we're nearly only two weeks away, so it seems it's gone by so fast. We're already all the way back to one of the more exciting times of the year for meteorologists. <laughs> and I bet. Obviously, hopefully, uh, we don't see anything here in the I valley. I feel like you've already been getting some good practice with all the severe weather we've been getting recently. I, I know, <laughs> these last couple weeks, and May typically is, if we are going to yeah. see severe weather here in the valley, May is the hot spot. So we're kind of on track with what we usually see yeah. this time of year. Hopefully, we don't get any more severe weather, yeah. but Not it is a good reminder to stay prepared. Yeah.